Good morning, folks. This is Scott James, Blue Water Yacht Sales. We're at the 2020 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. This is the brand new 54 Viking. It won Best in Show by the NMMA, and it is here on display. This is hole number one. This is a big boat. Viking has built more boats in this size range than any builder in the country. They've built 10 boats over the last 20 years, between 50 and 60 feet. This is the latest boat in that range. She's 54.6 length overall, 17.8 beam, holds 1,500 gallons of fuel, and she'll cruise in the mid 30s, top out at 42, 43 knots. You'll see that this is a really nice, generously sized cockpit, transom box, built in mezzanine, of course, bait freezers, drink freezers, um, all the things you would expect in this particular boat, the Sea Keeper which in the 52 was behind the starboard transmission. The Sea Keeper is now under the floor. This is an incredible riding boat. Let's take a good look. Okay, we're in the engine room now. And one of the first things that, that I noticed when I came in here is how big this space is. Um, this, this boat replaced the 52 Viking, which is a great boat. There's a lot more space in this engine room than there was in the 52. These are, this base power is twin 1400 horse mans. This boat is powered with twin 1550s. It's a V12 common rail motor. Of course, this is a prop pocket boat and you'll notice how little shaft angle we have here. It helps this boat run very, very good, very, very fast. Trolls good, it's made to raise billfish. So just a quick pan around, you'll see 21 and a half kW Cummins Onan generator. There is oil change systems conveniently located right under the step. And look how much light you have in here. Easy to get around, easy to see, just to keep an eye on things that, um, you know, that are getting out of control. But if you look again, Delta T, Delta T air handling system throughout the engine space. The, um, your lights here, these are the ones in the center line, they're flush mounted. You're not gonna bump your head on those. Um, your sea strainers, they're crash valves on both. And those are conveniently located right in the center line. They're easy to get to. You have to step up to get up here where, um, where you can get to the, the mechanicals that are in the front of the engine room. Water, uh, fresh water pump and system is on that side. Fresh water filtering is over there. The um, proprietary Viking freshwater manifold system you can see right there. So in the winter time, for us in the mid-Atlantic, we can turn off everything that's outside, turn those water hoses off, leave our water system activated for use inside. Around here on the starboard side is where your HVAC units are. They're conveniently located there. You'll see a Garmin camera in the corner. There's several cameras throughout. And if we make our way kind of around to the starboard stern, you'll notice a big platform behind the starboard engine. That's a great place for toolboxes. Um, if you have the second generator, that's where it would go is right there. And then also we've got outside um, mezzanine refrigeration is here, as well as the uh, Dometic Eskimo ice machine which dumps into a cockpit box. That's your quick, quick look, quick tour of the engine room. Okay, we're in the salon and you will notice that this is absolutely stunning. This is a high gloss walnut finish on the interior woodwork, L-shaped leather sofa, storage underneath. And look at how that opens. You can, you can store rods, you can store tackle, We've got a lot of capability with that particular that particular space and the other side of the sofa and storage as well. Tremendously crafted. If we look at, here's AC and DC uh, breaker panels are here. Look at the hinges and the way that the, just the interior, the fine details are done on, on a rig like this. The, um, this is a, and again, this 54 is a brand new design. If we look at the layout of the, of the galley here, 
Viking had, go had gone to an island style galley, we're back to a peninsula, and look at what they've done. You've got a good spot for two stools. You can sit here while people are sitting on the, uh, on the sofa. And by going back to a peninsula, you've gained the space underneath the counter that, uh, that we didn't have before. Under counter refrigeration, two refrigerators, two freezers, Antico flooring, um, big stainless sink, and your galley equipment is all here, conveniently located. Everything is, um, as you would expect, is first class in this boat. Okay, we're in the accommodation space now. So it's three steps down from the salon. Um, soft panel walls with batten strips. These are also the high gloss walnut finish. So right at the bottom of the steps, you have a separate washer and dryer. Two steps down the hallway, and here's our bunk room. The bunk room, upper and lower bunks, storage underneath, um, HVAC controls just for this space. And I'm gonna pass through to the guest head and shower. So direct access from the hallway or from the guest bunk room. And I want you to notice think this is a standard boat head until you look at the shower. Look at how big this shower is and there is there's a lot of space in here. This is a really nice departure from your standard boat shower. You also have access from this head into the guest stateroom that's forward. Okay, we're in the forward stateroom now. This is the standard layout, is the over and under bunks here. Um, you'll notice cabinetry up top, TV forward. There is a hatch with shade and screen right here, um, just for a little more natural light, natural air in this space when you want it. There is also a dedicated HVAC system just for this zone as well. Okay, we're in the master stateroom now. Again, great headroom. There's storage beneath this bed, nightstands built in on both sides, additional reading lamps here, and there's storage everywhere. If you look at these pockets here, that's a good place for extra sheets, um, sweatshirts, clothes, that kind of thing. So again, storage everywhere. TV on the wall right here, and if we look here's a good chance to look at the way the interior finish work is done. Rather than just a flat top door, these are arched doorways. Really, really a nice feel. If you, if you look here, you'll see good sized hanging locker with drawer space down below. The master head and shower is forward. <clears throat> In this space is also just absolutely a huge space. Real solid lockable door, shower door, and again, look at the space in here. And this is a 54 foot boat. This is a huge shower. So that's um, that's our interior of the 54, the brand new 54 Viking. Okay, we're up on the bridge, and this is where the excitement really happens. Again, twin 1550 horse common rail mans, easy cruise in the mid 30s, wide open throttle in the low 40s. It's 40 knots, it's almost 50 knots an hour for a 75,000 pound boat. So if we look here, you'll see this is a center console style helm. You're walking all the way around. You've got rod storage under here, rod storage under there, additional storage under the See, so this space shouldn't be overlooked. What we've got here, a seat for two, everybody's got their own cup holder. That's nice. Costa clear enclosure, and you can see on this particular boat, clean, unobstructed bow, really, really good looking boat. The, um, if we turn around, you've got overhead lights, a nice little pocket here for your US-9, Electric teaser reels. The teaser line runs through the top. You can grab it and yank it away from Mr. Marlin if you have to. The um, 
two helm chairs, the release marine helm chairs, and we've got a release marine helm pod here. Single lever controls with bow thruster controls are here at your thumbs. Trim tabs right underneath. You have trim tab position indicator right here. There's your power switch for your bow thruster. One VHF in the starboard box, one VHF in the port box. And look at look at our dash. Clean, simple, Bocatech switches across the bottom. Everything's flush mounted. And if you look overhead, you'll see engine displays right there. Garmin four inch repeaters and another Garmin screen right here up top. This is a full, this boat is fully equipped with an electronics package from AME, tower by Palm Beach Towers. This boat is completely rigged and ready to fish. More information, you can contact us at bluewateryachtsales.com. I'm Scott James and I thank you for your time.